Alright, so I'm going to show you how to set up electric start on your snapper or whatever ride mower you have that doesn't have electric start, including if you even have to change out the flywheel and you have to put a starter on there and set up your own electrical system. Since my electrical system is already set up, I don't have to do that. So for this, you're going to need an alternator, just a regular one wire alternator, doesn't really matter. I mean, you can use a two wire just as long as you know how to wire it. Uh, a flywheel with a ring gear and of course your starter. You can get these ring gears separate. Uh, this one apparently has a rivet in it or something so you can't really get it off. But some of them have a, ones that you can just bolt onto your old flywheel. <clears throat> so now you're going to take your flywheel off. Basically what I did is just take a hammer and just hit up on this side. Don't hit this aluminum piece though, otherwise you'll bust it. And uh, if you have a ring gear on it, uh, try not to bust it up which is, you might just need a puller. I don't have a puller, so this is what I do. And you'll see that there's two uh, holes here that you can bolt your alternator to. Well, actually, no, it's these two holes. These two right here. Just slide your alternator up on there. Then just take your two screws and drive them in there. Sometimes on some they might not be tapped, but if you're lucky, you might be able to get them uh, already tapped. But they should be tapped in. And then you put your flywheel back on. And also, before you put your flywheel back on, you might want to uh, clean out all the dirt and stuff because busted up chunks in there. And um, your uh, magnets will bust up. Like this one right here is busted on this one. And the reason that happens is because dirt gets inside of there and uh, moisture and it just gets, just all gets crumbed up in there and uh, it'll eventually chip off, eventually get caught on this alternator and uh, bust it up and then you'll think you have a locked up motor. After you got your uh, alternator bolted down and your flywheel on, turn it over just to make sure that nothing's binding. Apparently this one is good. Now just bolt your starter on and connect your alternator wire and then tighten up your nut on to, that holds your starter wire on. Also if you don't have your wiring already set up on these you can always just take a solenoid and put a button up there um, and uh, or you can just look up the wiring diagram and use an actual ignition switch. This one already has one in it since um, the older motor had electric start. But if you wanted to hook up your own electric start, uh, there's a solenoid up under here. And what you do is you have a wire that goes to the battery and to a push button. And then it will go to the trigger on the solenoid. The solenoid has two larger poles. This one right here goes to one of the larger poles and then the other larger pole goes to the starter and then you have a ground which is just hook either straight to your block or straight to the ground anywhere and that's pretty much it for the starting system part of it charging system is a little different um, I'm not quite sure what the, how the charging system works on this one all I know is that it's got one wire that comes off apparently it goes to the battery because it has a diode right here so I'm thinking that this wire goes straight to your battery, uh, your positive on the battery, which is basically just a solid wire on your solenoid. It's the shortest place to put it. And yeah, that's pretty much how you would wire it. And of course, hook up your battery. I need to charge mine, so it may take a while. Before you put your flywheel back, I mean your uh, shroud back on, I'm going to make sure that everything turns over easily, so I'll just crank it over just a little bit. So, making sure that it makes contact, make sure that the gear goes back down, you know, all that sort of stuff. And, uh, once my battery charges up, I can give it a start, and I'll go ahead and put this ride back on. Alright, so now that the battery's charged up, probably enough to crank it over, I'm going to try to start it up. I need to choke. Yeah. 
turn it down too far. The, um, if you turn the throttle down too far, it, it uh, has a kill switch on it. But yeah, it looks like it's working now. It's a pretty quiet start. I think it's brand new. But uh, yeah, that's how you convert your regular old Briggs into a electric start or put electric start onto it. So yeah, thanks for watching.